In this video, we are going to learn more about the if statement and we are going to use it with comparisons as well. I have created a program that uses two variables, a string name and a boolean variable is adult. I have also included an if statement to check if the is adult variable is true. If the variable is true, the program will print Nick is an adult. He can vote. Note that I have separated the if statement, this block of code, with two white lines. We can add as many white lines as we want. The program will just ignore them. I use them to separate blocks of code to make the program more readable. Ok, the program works. It prints the message when the variable is true. But what if we wanted to print another message when the variable value was false? Well, we can easily do this as well using the else part of the if statement. So the complete if statement looks like this. If the condition is true, colon, execute this block of code. Else, colon, execute this block of code. Let's type it in our program and use it at once. Without spaces, else, colon, two spaces, print, f, curly brackets, name is a child. Two spaces, print, he can vote. Please be careful, the else statement does not need spaces before it and every command that belongs to it needs two spaces before it. Let's change the isAdult variable to false and try it. As you can see, the program works. So now we have a way to decide which direction a program must follow, depending on whether a boolean variable is true or false. This is great, but also limiting. With a if statement, we can do much more. We can use comparison as a condition for the if statement, not just boolean variables. For example, instead of using a boolean variable is adult to check if a user is an adult, we can check if his or her age is greater or equal to 18, like this. The comparison will return either true if the age is greater or equal to 18 or false if the age is less than 18. Since the result of the comparison is either true or false, we can use it with an if statement. Let's delete the boolean variable is adult and create a variable named age. Age is equal to 30. This is a init variable. We can check if a user is an adult simply by using the age variable. If age greater than or equal to symbol 18 colon. The rest of the program remains exactly the same. Let's run it. Cool, the program works and it shows the message that Nick is an adult and he can vote. If we change the age to 17, the program prints the message Nick is a child, he can vote. Very cool. Let's see what kind of comparisons we can use with an if statement. We can check if uh, two values are equal with the equality operator, which is two equality signs. We can check if two values are not equal with this operator. We also have greater than and less than. And lastly, we have less than or equal and the greater than or equal we just used in our example. Using these operators with a if statement, we can build pretty useful programs. Let's practice our new skills with an exercise. Create a program that will ask the user to enter two numbers. Then it will divide number one by number two and it will print the result. We need to check if the second number is equal to zero. If the second number is equal to zero, the program will print can't divide by zero, else it will print the result of the division. This is a very important check we have to make. If the user enters zero as the second number and tries to make a division by zero, the program will crash. Please pause the video now and try to develop this program by yourself. Ok, let's create this program. Number 1 is equal to input give first number. Number 2 is equal to input give second number. Now we have the numbers but in string variables. We have to convert them into int variables. Number 1 is equal to int parenthesis number 1. Number 2 is equal to int parenthesis number 2. 
Now we have to check if the second number is equal to zero. If space number two equals equals zero, colon, two spaces, print, can't divide by zero. Please note, to check for equality, we use two equal signs. Be extra careful here. The single equals sign is used to assign a value to a variable. Else, colon, two spaces, we now know the second number is not zero, so we can do the division. Result is equal to number one slash number two. Print f result curly brackets result. Let's run it. We enter two numbers and the result is calculated correctly. Let's run it once more and enter zero as the second number. The program prints that we can divide by zero. Cool, it works. If you have developed this program correctly, congratulate yourself. You have now a deep understanding of the most basic concepts of programming. Was it hard so far? Please let me know in the comments. Believe it or not, with just the things we have learned so far, we can now build a simple quiz game. And that is what we are going to do in the next video, our first project to use everything we have learned so far. So stay tuned and keep practicing.